Hi guys, welcome back to another speed build in The Sims 4. I am Kiko Beards, and for today's video, we are building a base game suburban home. Yes, a house that was built only, only with the base game um, pack. This is not a pack actually, with the base game, <laughs> The Sims 4 base game this build is actually part of a huge collab we were approximately 55 to 57 simmers um, that were gathered around a simza also called mal uh, she's actually the one who put together this uh wonderful collab and um, we actually rebuilt the actually the aim of this collab was to rebuild the entirety of the base game worlds using only the base game so for those people who want to actually download some cool a cool save file with only the base game those people who don't have other packs and other DLCs especially now this comes very um, this comes out very at a very good time because uh, as you may know the Sims 4 base game is coming free from October 18th until forever <laughs> so people will be able to download it for free and play with the Sims for free and that is a great news for people for a lot of people who would love to actually actually play the game and don't have uh, the money for it but yeah so this is a as i was saying this is a part of the back to basics uh, collab and we actually put together a save file uh with the three worlds always the springs the three base game worlds always the springs willow creek and new crest and there are <laughs> a lot a lot of lots uh gathered uh when you put together all those three worlds we actually realized that it's it's kind of a huge collab we are 57 simmers in this collab yes as i was saying but yeah hope you will enjoy it if you actually download this collab uh, this save file i will put down below the link as soon as the save file has been put together and as soon as the link to download is available you can also find this house on the gallery under my id kikwa underscore bills as usual and um it's not only this house actually uh that will be part of the collab i mean for my build i also uh created the household that live here it's um a multi-generational multi multi-generational house and also a multi-generational household um we have the Leon family that lives here with the grandparents, the parents and two kids, a teenage girl and a boy, a child. And this home will be, it's actually, I built this on a 40 by 30 lot in uh, Rilo Creek. Um, I don't remember the name of this neighborhood, but it's actually originally this big lot that is um, in this neighborhood when we just have, we have only two huge lots you two huge houses and this is the lot where you have the um, kind of this huge modern house with four floors or something like that it's yeah anyways <laughs> this is the slot it's a 40 by 30 and this house actually um came out um costing 230k simoleon so a huge house um a lot of rooms in this house you will see uh, later on uh, the interior of this house so i built this uh with in mind uh, a kind of your typical North American suburban homes um, as you can find in the US and also in Canada. So now we're inside and um, you're seeing me actually doing the floor plan here. I made a lot of tries. I had a lot of tries with this floor plan but you're only seeing what I came up with in the end. It wasn't really easy. We have very large spaces in this house. Um, it's intentional because usually I usually build small houses. I love small houses that look cozy inside. This one I still wanted it to look cozy as well but I wanted to have larger spaces and larger rooms in general so here you are seeing the extra large 
living room with this TV wall unit that I'm making here with uh, the kitchen cabinets. Um, of course, base game. I had to put three tables together because the only large table that we had here is an hexagonal one for the base game, I think, and I didn't really like the style of it. So I wanted something that looked a little more modern for this uh, living room here. Um, I love those couches that I used here. Uh, of course, space game couches, and um, I went with a cream color and brown color scheme for this um, for this living room, especially those accent walls, because um, originally I wanted to actually paint the, the entirety of the interior of the house in this kind of gray. Um, purple going on gray uh, wall painting wall paint or wallpaper but I thought it looked so sad so I had to place those accent walls that you're seeing here that I cream and I went and also added inside this house a lot of uh, custom made paintings that you can find on the gallery I love love those paintings and this artist this content creator I will put their information down below in the description box for you to go and check out their gallery, their library. Um, it's just mind blowing. I love, love what they do. Um, I love their paintings and I put, I sprinkled uh, some of their paintings here and there and I will put, off, uh, as I told you, I will put their contact or their info <laughs> in the description box. So here we are in the kitchen. Um, the kitchen here, you can see the gray wall here that I wanted to go for the entire house with, but I still kept this gray wall uh, in the majority of the rooms, but I added some accent walls here and there. Here in the kitchen, you will see me actually place some um, wallpaper that looks like tiles, ceramic tiles in the kitchen, um, white white wall and I placed those cabinets uh, and those um, counters in the end I like how it turned out but uh, thinking of it right now uh, thinking back of it I think I would have been it would have been much better if I had used the more uh, modern looking cabinets because at the time I was building this I wanted this house to look kind of modern but also a little not old-fashioned but traditional looking as well that's why I chose these more traditional looking counters and um, and cabinets here you see this cabinet here in this cupboard in the kitchen for all uh, the living room space uh, here I actually went back afterwards and changed all of them I mean this particular cupboard that you can see in the living room I changed them for the modern ones and I like it better <laughs> uh, this is actually here you can see the dining I was saying living room early on I'm talking about the dining <laughs> this is the dining room they also have a little bar area here and also I had to place a fireplace because I didn't put realized that I didn't put a fireplace in the extra large living room that we have on the side so I went and added this little fireplace here to make a cozy space cozy spot here here you can see I'm changing up the cabinets uh, for the dining area and I replaced them with those more modern looking ones and I placed also those mirrors at the back and I really love love how it turned out I love the um, the actual look um, the end look <laughs> the end result here you can see the one of the bathrooms we have in this house four bathrooms yes I told you this is a large house this is a big multi-generational house um, this is one of the four bathrooms we have actually in this house four bedrooms and four bathrooms here you can see the first bedroom this is the grandparents bedroom um, the grandparents I wanted their, look, their room to look like a bedroom for old people I mean for grandparents something with old-fashioned uh, looking furniture here you can see the bed I give them this uh, old looking bed old-fashioned bed also bedside table and also uh, I placed some chairs also in this bedroom and um, the dresser 
anyway everything every uh, piece of furniture looks old in this um, bedroom they have an ensuite bathroom here I also try to choose the plumbing like the sink the toilet the bathtub that look something that look old-fashioned and also went for a cream I don't know why I went with the cream a uh, color scheme for this bathroom cream and gold uh, I don't know maybe it looked a little old-fashioned I also gave them this little closet here um, they actually have to go through the closet to access the bathroom <laughs> they're in sweet bathroom and here you can see the little mm, sitting space here it is in the circle part of the bedroom this is the the part that is in the, the tower uh, structure of the house they also have this old looking old-fashioned um, what's the name of that mirror <laughs> also <laughs> anyway that's the grandparents bedroom as you so they're also on the screen their names are Padma and Jean and here we are in the study I love this study um, I wanted to give it a futuristic kind of look really tech oriented uh, so that's why I placed those modern looking desks very modern also looking um, computers um, and lighting above all the lighting I played around with the lighting I gave them some different hues green and blue um, and I love how it turned out I think I gave the parents I that's what I wanted to give the parents um, both of them the career of tech gurus but I'm not sure if I actually did I don't remember uh, but yeah they're supposed to be uh, in the IT career um, area but here you can see there's a bed in the study and uh, that's very odd you will say <laughs> but uh, I didn't have this is kind of a spare bed for when you have a guest over um, so you can have this is kind of your your guest bedroom uh, you would say that yeah that's not very convenient but beggars can't be choosers <laughs> I'm sorry no I mean I didn't have a space for a spare bedroom so I had this little nook here in this uh, in this study and I decided to put a bed there and it came in very handy when I was playing with this house because yes I always play test my houses by playing in them and when the kids were growing up um, I needed some spare beds so it came in very handy very handy so here we are in the parents bedroom uh, the parents names you can see on the screen they are Amelia and Hugo Hugo is the the son of the grandparents that live in this house they are the Leons the family I don't know if I told you their names their family names but this is their bedroom I went with a purple it looks a little pinkish like hot pink on the screen because of the reshade but I really think this is kind of a purple <laughs> purple color scheme for this house I love of those paintings I think they are from the same artist as I told you everything the name of the artist will be uh, put in the description box down below um, I went with this purple color scheme even for this uh, makeshift closet here this makeshift closet that I'm actually doing here is an idea that I saw from Tafissimo builds on Instagram he has some great great ideas for and tips for building and i had to try this closet here uh, that you can see here you are seeing the teenage girl's bedroom this is your typical teenage girl i mean maybe your typical i'm not sure but i wanted it to look like a typical teenage girl's bedroom with a lot of clutter some posters on the walls for movies or tv stars and whatnot um yeah <laughs> she's into fashion i think i'm not i don't remember uh i don't really remember the household i created them but yeah we are almost at the end of the video what i didn't show you in the recordings i didn't record everything because this video would have been way too long um i didn't show you the 
the kids bedroom uh, the kids bedroom in the kids bedroom we have a bed for a child for the boy and we also have a toddler's bed so if you decide to actually download this house and also the family uh, you can give them a baby a new baby and uh, there will be enough space for the baby as you could see downstairs also I placed a high chair for the toddler I also placed in the bathroom this potty for the toddlers and you also have toys in this house and you will see um, the children's bedroom also uh, in the in the screenshots at the end of the video uh, in the in the lot tour you didn't also I didn't record my furnishing this the third bathroom I mean no the two bathrooms upstairs you didn't see in the recordings and also the hallway upstairs but because this is just your typical bathrooms in a hallway so you didn't need to see that this video would have been way too long anyway here we are in a backyard i love 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 a backyard i love uh landscaping if you know me you know that uh, i love a backyard area where you can live there in the in the summer uh, with the nice temperatures and nice weather so I had to give them a large swimming pool a picnic area with a barbecue and they also have this um, this uh, gardening patches with cabbages and uh, and also planters so yeah this is all for today guys I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my content and want to see more in the future and I hope to see you next time in the meantime take care bye